All right. Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to work on selections. So I'm going to go over here to my dummy account. We're going to walk through this step by step here. I go to digital art here. If this is fifth period or sixth period, it's going to same thing. You're just going to look a little different on your Google Classroom. We're going to go down here to module one, and we're going to look at this little introduction to selections here. And we're going to go ahead and view this assignment. All right, so we got some files in here. The ones we're going to work with today are going to be these checkerboards here. So I got this image here called Select Y. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to bring it up here. I'm going to right click again, right click, not left click, and I'm going to save image as. Okay, if you have a download button there, you can just download it as well. You're just going to drop that to downloads to Select Y3, it's called. We're going to go ahead and save that. And then we're going to click out of this. And then we're going to get this other one that says checkers after. We're going to get that image. And then we're going to right click and put save image as. Again, right click, save image as, or hit your download button and download that checkers after again to your downloads or your desktop. Okay. Now, after I get that, I'm going to jump on over here to my Pixlr. And I'm going to jump in there. Had a few people last week just to uh, point out if you haven't figured it out, there is Pixlr X, which is Pixlr Express. And then there is Pixlr E, which is Pixlr Edit up here at the top here. So X is kind of like the dumbed down version, simplified, it's got less tools, and the editor has more tools. And that's what we work on is the Pixlr E for editor, not the X for Express. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here, get myself all logged in. Okay, now I'm going to need to upload those two files up into Pixlr from my computer so that I can work on them. So while our little wheels spin here and get us going. Okay, again, it says Pixlr E over here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open image. We're going to open those two pictures. So I am going to go to my downloads folder and I am going to go to that select Y picture I got. There's my checkers. I'm going to open that and that opens it into Pixlr. And I'm also going to go to file and I'm going to open image, and then I'm going to look for that checkers after picture. So those are the two images that I have. I'm going to get those both opened up into Pixlr so I can see it. Okay. All right. So I've got those open in here. So what we're doing today, we are going to use selections to make this look like this. Okay. So this is kind of like a puzzle when you look at it. what has Mr. G moved around. Okay, so let's look at here. And there's a reason we're using circles and squares. These checkers work really good for selections. So we got to make this look like this. Okay, so the first thing that I notice when I see that there are words on here. So I'm going to go to this checkers after here. Okay, so let's work on right up here. I've got these checkers are up here and they're moved down here. So let's look at that first. Okay. So how could I go in and move those? Well, we can use selections. Now we're all on one layer right here. And I'm going to close this off here. I have my navigation panel up here. I'm going to hit that little minus sign and that makes that go away. I'm also going to make my history go away here too. Okay. Cause I can just hit command Z or I can make that go back up. If you like it, you can have it pop right back up down there. Okay. But for right now, I'm going to get my selection tool. Okay. So our selection tools we have, we have our marquee tools, round and square. We can add, subtract, and make new selections. We have our lasso tools here, and we've got some different things we can play with there. And then we have our magic wand, which is going to select by color. And all those, again, work with the same way where we can make a new selection, add to the selection, or take away from the selection. And the selection, basically what it does, it's taking, going to 
select a piece out of an image and we can copy it, we can paste it, we can move it, we can change it, we can do different uh, effects to it, but we have to tell the program which pixels we want to pick up and take somewhere else or effect, okay? So first, let's go ahead and we'll go in here and I'm going to get my magnifying glass. I'm going to shift out one time here just so I kind of have a full screen here for you to see. And if I want to take this area here and I need to move it down, well, when I look at my picture, I can go ahead and just take that and clip it right out from up here and make a copy. So if I go over here and let's just get our regular selection tool, make sure that I'm making a new selection and I'm going to drag from the outside to about halfway down. I'm going to get really close to that checkerboard because I want to get just the edge of it there. I'm going to make careful selections. Okay. And I've got it right there where I'd like it. Now, I am going to go to edit. I'm going to go to copy or command C. And then I'm going to move my face. And then I'm going to make a new layer. Or actually, I don't have to make a new layer. And then I'm going to go to edit, paste. Okay. As soon as I paste that, you'll see I've got a new layer here. Okay. So I can take that. And now I can move that down here and it's going to snap right into place. And when I click away, now I've got checkers on the top and bottom. Spectacular, Mr. G. All right. So now I need to go back over here. Let's see what else we got. We've got up here is actually switched and now the checkers are gone. So how do I make those checkers go? Well, we could do the same thing in reverse. So if I go up here, I'm just going to turn off my eyeball on that real quick. We're going to make sure I have this layer selected because when I turn off this, the only thing on this layer is that checkers that we copied and pasted. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to turn on this layer. I'm going to take that off. Close. Make sure I got my background layer selected again. And I am going to go here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this piece of wood and I'm going to put it up on top. Again, I'm going to use my selection tool, my marquee uh, rectangle. I'm going to make sure I'm making a new selection. And again, I'm going to drag from the outside in. And I'm going to go about halfway up. I'm going to get real close. I want to just catch the edge of that shadow. And then I'm going to release my button. And then again, making sure that I've got this, I'm going to say, Command C to copy and Command V to paste. Or you can go to edit, copy and paste up here under your edit monitor. I'm going to get my move tool and I'm going to grab this new layer here and I'm going to move it up over here. And you notice it just snaps right into place. So now my checkers are gone. And when I turn this back on, I've got that piece of my puzzle done. So I've got that piece right there done. Okay, so let's look at the next parts. So we got that. So let's look at this area up here. Uh, let's move some checkers around here. Let's see what we need to do. Okay, I got some checkers here in the middle. I got some, so which ones do we have to move? I need to move these here. So I've got just the one up top and the first two rows, and I've got some checkers over there. So I need to make this guy disappears. So how can I make that guy disappear? So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. I see my checkers overlapping just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and shift that guy up just a little bit so he's not overlapping that checker. Got that. All right, I'm going to get back on my background layer. And the easiest way to make this checker go away I could select it, I could try to paint it in, um, but I'm just gonna copy this square right here and I'm gonna put it right over top of that. So again, I'm gonna get that rectangle. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get fairly close here. Get my hand tool and kind of move around here. And I'm gonna get that rectangle tool, again, making sure I'm on the new selection, make sure I'm on my background layer because that's where the piece is at that I wanna copy from. And I'm going to carefully select 
my piece here. And because I'm going on that crease, I'm going to get part of that crease right there. Just like it is there. And I'm going to release. I'm going to do Command C to copy. And I'm going to do Command V again to paste. Now I'm going to take my move tool, which is V. And I'll just put that right over top of that guy right there. And then I've got that one taken away. Okay. So now we've got to move these guys. Again, referring back to what we're making. Looks like I've got to make these guys go away. So we're going to go over here. We're going to do the same thing. Now this one is a little bit lighter than this one. So I'm going to use this square here to do the same thing. So again, I'm going to go to my background layer. Make sure my background layer is selected. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Get my hand tool by pressing space bar, move up. I'm going to get that marquee tool. Make sure that I have the rectangle. Make sure that I'm on new selection. Make sure I'm on the background layer selected. And again, I'm going to carefully position my square and then highlight it. And I want to make sure I get all brown and none of the beigey tan wood behind there. Once I got my selection I'm happy with, Command C, Command V. Hold down my V to get my move tool, and I will make this guy go away. And if I don't have it quite positioned, I can use my arrow keys to put it in position. Okay, so I got that one, and I need to make this one go away. So I'm going to hit just Command V. I've already copied it, so I don't have to copy it again. And I can paste again, and I can paste this guy up here. Okay, make my move tool, make sure I'm in there and I'm happy where it's at. Using my arrow keys, move it around. Boom, got that. Okay. And again, I'm going to come over here and I need to zoom out. Do I need this guy to go away too? Nope, that guy stays. All right, so then I've got one there and I need this guy right here to go away. So we might be able to just use that same one. Let's go ahead and do Command V one more time. Move this guy down here. Move our advertising out of the way. And it looks like we have one down in the corner over here. So we need to make these two guys go away. And I think we can probably use that same square. Looks fairly close. So we're going to do Command V one more time. Move that guy. That looks pretty good. Command V down here. Now, we are just doing the basics here, so these might be off in tone just ever so slightly as it gradiates across the board, um, and we can change that, but we will get that in a later date. We're just going to do basic selections here for right now, okay? So let's clean up some of our selections here. Let's go ahead and zoom out here. We've got our checkers. Do we have all of our checkers moved where we need them to be, okay? Looks like we do. We just get the, need to get these guys up here, and we're going to get that in just a second here, Okay. So we are good. Let's go back over here and let's put some of these layers together. Okay, so we got all these squares we did and we're going to merge down, merge down, merge down. And what do we got? Do a couple more times here. Merge down, merge down. Okay, and I think that is all the checkers on our checkerboard now. So we got those all together like that. And you'll see they're all in one layer that we can make go away and set. So we'll go ahead and take that. So once we got that part done, let's go ahead and lock that layer so we don't accidentally move it. Okay, and we got this layer up here. And then we've got this layer here. Okay, now the checkers that we have up here on the top here are actually these checkers right here. Okay these right here. So let's make sure we have that layer selected that's not on the background anymore. So it's right here. So we're going to get on this layer. So looking at our image, we've got the three blonde checkers and the one black checker on top of it. So we're going to go over here. We're going to zoom in. And these are the ones that we want to get. Okay. So 
how can we get those checkers? Okay, so there's a few different ways we could do it. Okay, we've got our selection tool, right? We've got our marquee tool. So we've got these guys and we can go in here and we can actually go and we can drag a circle and try to move our circle over top of our checker, which is not a bad way, but I don't have the really the ability in this program to adjust my selection a whole lot. So I can move it, but I can't really make it bigger. Um, I can try and add to it and keep taking swipes at it until I get what I, I'm looking for. Again, I've moved to the add to selection here and I'm going to continue to make some swipes, but you can see nah, that's not quite what I want. No, I got that. But if I make a mistake, I can just hit command Z. We'll go ahead and finish this guy out with this. And that's too big. Command Z. Let's go in here. Command Z. Again, I'm kind of coming at it from the wrong angle. If you don't get it quite right. And I want to get in there close and really get just the edge of that. Okay. Now when I go up a little closer, you'll see that I still have just a little bit I'm missing here. So I'm going to keep taking circles until I get it. Down here at the bottom. Got a little bit down there. I want to make sure I get my curve of my guy, but not the black over there. And again, if you make a mistake, you can just hit Command Z and it'll go one step back, okay, to the undo point, okay? So there's that checker. I've got that one pretty good. Now I want to just got to grab these over here as well, okay? I'm going to grab my hand tool. I'm going to slide over here. Now let's look at this black checker here, okay? Actually, first let's go to this blonde checker. Let's go with another way here. So another way that we could do it and get my lasso tool here, okay? And again, I want to add to this selection I already have because I want to get all these checkers together. So I'm going to click on the add to selection so that I don't erase the selection I've already got. So I could go in here and I could come in here very closely and I could Z. I could just trace it with my finger using my lasso tool here. Okay, I got my add to selection. Now the way the lasso tool works, when I hold down and click and drag, as long as I click and drag, it's going to connect, okay? And then as soon as I let off, it's gonna make a straight line straight over there, okay? So I'm in doing that again. So if I go and click over here and I let off here, it's gonna make a straight line, Command Z. So if I go and I make this shape and I let go, it's going to make a weird selection like that because it's just going to go from where I started to where I begin. So if you come all the way around, you can come all the way around and let go. When you get close, you can let go and make a selection like that. So let's try to select this guy here with that method. All right, so adding to my selection, keeping in mind whatever I let go is going to pick back up. So I'm going to start kind of in the middle here. And then I'm going to go and just kind of carefully do this and pieces okay rather than try to do it all at once it's going to be really hard so i'm just going to keep taking bites out of this and again when you're making straight lines it helps to try and hold your breath if you don't believe me try it just kind of helps with your concentration If you miss a few pixels, it's okay. We can go back and grab some. So it looks like I got to add some more here. When I get zoomed in, I can really see where I'm missing at. We can go all the way down to the individual pixel if I need to. But again, we're just going to add to that selection until we get them all in there. And we're just going to keep coming up here and we're going to grab the rest of these pixels up here. Keep adding to my selection. So what if I get too much? So let's say I get this up here 
and I go over here, then I grab a big chunk out of here I don't need. So I could either hit Command Z and undo it, or I could go over here and I could remove from selection, where I could go over here and do the same thing and just do the opposite, where I cut away a dark part that I don't want in the selection, like that, so I can switch back and forth. Okay, so now I've got oh, Command Z in my hand. Now I've got this blonde checker here, and we'll go ahead and just add the rest of that part right there. So I got that part of the checker. Okay. Now I've got some other tools up here. I got the polygon tool. Okay. And the way the polygon tool goes here, again, just adding to this, the way this works, it makes a straight line. So I could go in here and I could just click like this, but because this is a round object, that doesn't work very well. So, and then it goes, and as soon as I come back around, it finished that selection. So, but again, that doesn't work very well because it's a round object and it only makes straight lines. It does have a curve tool here though. So I can do the same thing where I curve here. And when I just come up here and I'm just going up here and when I click and I drag, I can make that curve tool. So that's the second way we can do it. And then when I get the curve I want, I click again and it gives me another straight line. So I'm going to go way over here. I'm going to click and then I'm going to drag up and it's going to make that curve. And then I let up. Oh, I didn't. When I get the curve I want, I click again. And it gives me another straight line where I can come over here. And this is a really quick way to do it. But it takes some getting used to this tool. So I get where I want. I click. And I'm done. And now I can come over here. Get the rest of my shape just by clicking And I hit return when I'm done with my tool. Whoa. Back over here. All right, so there's my tool I made with the curve tool. Now the last one is the magnetic tool, which doesn't really work that well in this program. What it does, it tries to select pixels, so we'll try it here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my selection real quick here with just my regular lasso tool. Get this last little piece here, make sure I'm adding to. Okay. So I've got my guys right here. So the last one I need to get here is this last blonde checker. Okay. And I've got the magnetic tool. Now the way the magnetic tool is supposed to work, again, I'm making sure I'm on add to selection and I'm going to select up here and just kind of, kind of lightly go around the edge there. And then when I'm done, I hit return. Okay. And it's going to try and select like, pixels okay so when i kind of go around the edge here and then i hit return when i when i'm done it selects those pixels so if i go outside of here it kind of tries to select it but it doesn't always work well you see it kind of didn't know what to do there so it didn't really m magnet it's supposed to go between the difference in colors and it just gets confused it just doesn't work really well on this so i don't use that a lot and i don't recommend that tool now, a different tool we got here, if we go over here to our magic wand tool, if you remember from our shapes project where you could select similar colors, we can go here and again, make sure I switch this to add to selection because I don't want to ruin everything I've got. I'm going to add to. So I'm going to select here and you'll see it starts to select similar colors. So I can in this checker that's very different. Keep zooming out on you here. Come on. I can select my colors and go in here like this, and you'll see that it will start picking up, and I can just click inside until I've got all of the checker that I want. I don't want to have any dancing marquees or ants inside of here, so I want to make sure I get all of those all snapped up. Okay? Now, again, you're going to have to get very close to see some of this, you'll see I missed the edge, so I can click here. I can click here, but oh, when I click there, you'll see all of a sudden I got way too much. Okay, so I hit Command Z, and I'm going to go back in close again. So I know I can get most of that checker with that curve tool. Okay, 
So I still have this little lip here. I'm gonna go in here really close and I'll just clean that up with my lasso tool, the regular lasso tool here. And I will draw that in, okay? So there we go. And we've got the rest of that drawn in, okay? The main point that you need to take away from this, most of the things that you select and use selections in your Photoshop programs, you're going to use more than one selection tool, okay? So there's two tips. You're going to use more than one selection tool most of the time. Most of the time you'll use like a automatic selection tool, like the magic wand tool, uh, and then your lasso tool. So those are the two tools you're going to use the most while you're doing this. And step two, get in there really close. You can see all the way down to the pixels, okay? So make sure that you go in there. All right, so let's go ahead and hit Command-0 to zoom out. We've got our selection all made there. We're happy with our selection. It's down to the pixel. We're looking good, so we're here. So we need to copy those guys so we can put them up there. So again, we're just going to hit Command-C and Command-V, and then we've got our checkers pasted right there, okay? So we're going to get our Move tool, and we are going to move those guys right up here, okay? And let's go refer to our picture, what we're doing here. Got right there, and you'll see that they've got a shadow kind of placing them on there, and we don't really have a shadow on ours, okay? So there's several different ways we could make a shadow. I'm going to turn it just a little bit here, okay? The easiest way would just be get our brush tool. So if I go over here to my draw brush tool, and I'm going to get a soft brush. So you got a nice big brush here, and I'm going to take the opacity, and I'm going to take the opacity down to like 30% here. Now, I'm going to make a new layer underneath this. So here's my checkers. I'm going to make a new empty layer. And I'm going to kind of zoom in here. So here are my checkers, okay? And I'm going to drag them on, or actually here, I'm going to go on my new layer. And I'm going to take my brush. Oop, Command Z. Switch my colors. I'm painting with white instead of black. I'm going to paint with black. And I am just going to paint around the edge here to kind of make a shadow here. And I know I'm painting on top, but I'll show you. I'm just so I can show you what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making a curve here to make a shadow. So it kind of fits there. If I needed to go a little darker, I can do it a couple times because I'm painting with 30% opacity. Like that. Okay. Then once I got it, I can take it and I can drag that underneath that layer. And now I've got a shadow. So when I zoom out, it kind of places those checkers on the board rather than without it. They look like they're kind of floating in air there. So we kind of place it so it has a shadow just like this guy. All right. So let's look and see what we got here. We've got our checkers. Looks like all of our checkers are in the right place and we're all done with that. The last thing we have to do is this type the art of checkers. So we are going to go in here and we're going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and we'll merge these two layers together. So there's our checkers and the shadow here. We'll go ahead and merge that down. So those are together. So we got those checkers. Okay. We're happy with that. And now we're going to go in here and we're going to grab type. Now we haven't worked much with type yet. Okay. So when you make type, you just go over here to the type tool and we're just doing a quick introduction here. I'm going to go and when I click on my canvas with my type tool, it's going to say, hey, do you want to add a new text layer? And you say, yep, that's exactly what I do. Okay, now these weird words are going to come up here. Now, don't pay attention. That's something written in Greek there. But what that is just saying that that's a placeholder for your text. Okay, so I'm going to change this. I know the type I got was this arborist type. So I'm going to first change to that type. Okay, so right up here, you've got, remember, we have our toolbar over here, so we got type of it in our hand, and up here is our options for type, okay? So I've got a color, so I've got white letters on my target piece, so I'm going to change that to white. I'm going to push OK. i got size. They're pretty big. Let's go ahead and push, oh, let's just put 200 for right now. That looks about right, okay? Then I've got some other settings here such as alignment. Let's go ahead and just align this all to the right. 
And then we've got some styles here we'll get into just a second. I can also duplicate the layer just like I do my other layers, or I can add a new type layer too. Okay, so first let's go and we'll get our text tool. We're just going to click inside of here. We're just going to double click just like you would in a word processor program. And we're going to type caps lock on the art return of. And then I'm going to get my move tool. And with my move tool, I can move it where I want. Check over here. that over just a little bit wants to stay like that that's fine we'll just leave it like that for now okay now we're going to go over here on styles right so i go to styles because when i look at my original i've got a little shadow here that's pretty cool how do we do that i go to styles styles i can add a shadow right there and you'll see i've got the blur and if i take it all the way down just so you can see so there's no blur when you move it around, you'll see my shadow kind of moves around. Okay, so let's put it below about like that, about vertical position. And I can move the opacity. If I want to, if I take it all the way to 100, you'll see that my there's my shadow as I move it up and down. It's gray right now. I can change it to a blacker color since I have a dark background. And there we can really see our shadow there. And again, you can see it and move it horizontal. Okay. So put your shadow where you want it. Okay. And then you click away. And there we've got that part. All right. Now let's go ahead and push add new. And now we're going to change our style. Say, let's say double click and you can move the slider. I'm just going to say 250 in there i'm going to click in there double click again and i'm going to type checkers like that i'll do the same thing with my style i'll add a shadow again and do the same settings i had before and i'm going to take my blur all the way down I'll take my opacity up so you guys can see it and then I will move my shadow to the same position I have for the other one there about okay now I'm going to take that blur down I'll click on this I'll do the same thing take that blur down or take the blur up a little bit okay and then when I click away, I have got my file looking very similar. It looks like I need to move my checkers over just a little bit there. Move this guy here. And I've got a similar looking product here. So what do I need to do here? The art of checkers. Let's go ahead and I'm going to change this gear. Let's go to settings and we'll align center. Give us that look there. And then we'll move this over here. And there we have a very similar looking product there. So we moved everything. Okay, so we'll stop right there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to save that file as a JPEG and as a PXD file. Remember, you're gonna use the JPEG to submit it for your assignment. You are going to use the PXD file in case you need to go back and rework your file at all. Okay, very good work. Uh, practice, if you get confused, just pause, go back in the video and watch it again, step by step, everything's here, okay? And just make sure you're following all your details. All right, stay creative and I will see you tomorrow.